So we're here at the Razor booth at PAX Prime where they are showing off. Oh, look, it's the Razor Blade Stealth, that machine that I reviewed like weeks ago. And it's got a Core i7-6500U, 8 gigs of RAM, and it's like still super cool and it's connected to the, to the Razor Core with an external graphics card. But that's not what I'm interested in. I want to know what's under the display case over there. Let's go find out. Ah, yes. It's the one under glass that's always the one I'm interested in. And look at this. Razor didn't put in the screws. So there's a rumor. A little birdie told me that as much as, they, as they've gone out of their way to hide all the desktop icons and uh, make it so that I can't see the start menu, that this machine is running Intel's unreleased KB Lake series mobile CPU. Ah, yes it is. Oh, there's a couple interesting things here, my friends. I have no idea how much of this I'm allowed to show you, so I'm gonna go with all of it. Check this out. We've got a Core i7 7500U CPU in here. So it's got a base clock of 2.7. We don't really have a way of knowing what it'll boost up to, unfortunately. And they have addressed Linus's big complaint about the Blade Stealth, probably because I complained. It has 16 gigs of RAM instead of eight gigs of RAM, which means now it can run Chrome, right? Very interesting. I wonder what else we can find out about it before anyone sees me here. It has a one terabyte SSD. I actually don't believe that was an option that they offered on the previous Stealth. I'm not getting any confirmation one way or the other because Razer is pretending they don't see me here. I really don't know what else I can say about it. Let's have a look. So physically, we've got HDMI and USB. I wish I could fire IDA64 up on it or something so I could at least tell you if it's like an HDMI 2.0 port, but I'm, I am guessing it probably is. We can have a look at display resolution, though it wouldn't surprise me if it's a 4K display. Yep, we've got a 4K display. And do they have Synapse on here? Where's my chroma lighting? And they have not added RGB lighting to the Razer logo on the back yet. So apparently some things are still sacred. Actually, wait, if we do want to know the clock speed, we can just fire up Task Manager and see what it's sitting at right now. Because it's not really doing much. Whoa! That's looking good. So it's two cores, four threads, and it's turboing up to 3.45 gigahertz right now. Oh, I just sprayed spit on the screen. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. You saw it here first. We unboxed the Razer Blade Stealth, and they're probably just gonna call it the Razer Blade Stealth, aren't they? That's probably what they're gonna do. They're just gonna call it the Razer Blade Stealth, but whatever. It's the one with the 7500U and 16 gigs of RAM in it. Holy crap, pretty cool. So don't miss any of our PAX West coverage here, guys, by checking out the playlist with all of our videos. You can do that in our playlist and also by being subscribed. I will see you again on the next video.